Hi guys, it's me. I just found something on the internet that doesn't make me feel so bad for talking shit about Shani and Rev. A piece of shit couple if I ever met them. But I never met them, but online. Um, I'll do it real fast. Um, I think it's called I Think She's Introvert Queen. I'm like, thank you for this video. I only have, I have less than 200 subscribers, so I won't be making any money off of you. But I did want to share this video because I want the people to know that we're all not picking on some innocent, heavyset woman with a, a mental disorder. Uh, she's a piece of shit, period. So I'm going to play this and... You know, I'm going to sum up real fast. She told people when they left, or Rev told them, you can go in the house, take whatever you want. There's a lot of things that are worth money. Just don't get caught by the police. And then watch. Immediately turned on her camera and started live streaming. All right? And then she said this. Let me play the clip. The garage door at our address is open. Anybody in Colorado that's near it, go in and get anything you can. There's tons of stuff that's worth a lot of money. Go in and get it. Have fun. Have fun. Try to avoid the popo. Avoid the popo. Look at okay, that mess. Okay, so you heard that, right? Go ahead. Go in my house. Uh, avoid the popo. Have at it. Go to my house. I mean, they gave every Tom, Dick, and Harry permission to enter their home. Verbal authorization. People went in. I mean, people listened to that. They went in and they filmed the condition inside the home. And the rest that you're seeing is history. And what happened after that, you guys? These two immediately deleted that live stream. So I do have a screenshot of that. Okay, you see this? Shani on the screen, you see Road Trip 2 and Road Trip 3. And right there, there was a video that was there. Obviously, I don't remember what it was called. I don't think it was Road Trip 1. But there was a video there. Because you can't have Road Trip Part 2 without something with 1. It was there. Um, and so this is the part that really let me witness firsthand the reputation that preceded Shani for Christ. And this next part is absolutely, utterly appalling. Okay. After they deleted that video, they went live again. The video where they're giving off a uh, verbal authorization to enter the home, they delete it. And they completely lied about what happened. They claimed that they never, never gave anyone permission to enter the house. So, you know, lying to the internet, it, lying in general is a bad thing. Lying to the internet to a bunch of people you don't know. Yeah, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world, right? But to then call the police and provide misleading statements. Oh my gosh, you guys. Once I saw that, my mind was blown because that is some maniacal shit. Okay? Like, what the hell? In the next clip I'm going to play, just make sure, okay, take note of this. Make sure to watch Shani's face and her demeanor and her overall excitement and glee that she gets. It's like this sinister dupe and delight smile as if she was getting away with something really bad. Because she was. And it's maddening to see, and mental illness or not. So check this out. Oh, man. He's in legal problems now. All of them are in legal problems. <laughs> Sick. Look at the joy she gets on this. Who does?
does that? Ooh, pretty dumb. Breaking into someone's place, huh? Breaking into someone's place. Yeah, they're probably going to get it. Yep, they're in big trouble with the police right now. They're in huge problems with the police right now. Whatever. So enjoy that. Enjoy getting in trouble with the law. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. They are, they are in legal problems. I just talked talk to the police. Yep, by entering they own any damages. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. The cops are going in it right now. And they took all the information on drag, too. He's in so much f***ing trouble. You guys are in so much f***ing trouble, dude. You guys are in so much f***ing trouble. It doesn't matter if the house was gross or not. You guys did not have permission to go in there. You did not have permission. The garage door at our address is open. Anybody in Colorado that's near it, go in and get anything you can. There's tons of stuff that's worth a lot of money. Go in and get it. Have fun. Have fun. Try to avoid the popo. How do you do that? How do you set people up like that? Tell them on a live stream, they can go in and get anything they want, then turn around, call the police, and then blame all the destruction on those people. And they're trying to say that these people peed all over the kid's bed. When the mother had told us that the Shannon's kids, Shannon's kids would pee all over the bed when they were staying there and in the corner and on the floor. And it was like, it was disgusting. It took them like three months to get the stench and the dirt out of their house after Shandy left. So she's blaming everybody and getting them in trouble. And she's just lying about it. That's what kind of woman this is. So when you see me or other streamers commenting on her and reacting to her videos and saying what a piece of shit she is, you can see it right there. Okay, my battery is about to die, and I don't want to say goodbye. I mean, I want to say goodbye. I don't want to shut off without saying goodbye. Um, I think I'm going to take a break today. But anyway, thanks for watching, and now you know exactly what kind of woman she is, what kind of couple they are. Thanks. Bye.